Sam Kakembo here with OXO Homes. Today I'm going to teach you about emerging markets. So the objectives of this lesson is what are emerging markets? What are the A, B, C, D class of properties? How to find the path of progress within any neighborhood or city? And also find emerging neighborhoods. Number one, what is an emerging market? Emerging markets are those poised for rapid growth at any given time. There are a number of emerging markets throughout the country. So Dave Lindell wrote a book on emerging market theory. And what he said is there are 30 emerging markets at any given time. Now, his definition of an emerging market is a market that has at least a minimum of 500,000 people. and at least a 2% population growth. Now one of the markets I'm investing in right now, Atlanta, Georgia, it actually has grown 20% over the past 10 years. It's grown by a million people in 10 years. And it's projected to grow by another 30% over the next 10 years. So that is a really great emerging market to be in because you know that there's very low construction right now in the United States because very low banks are not lending to construction loans because the cost of properties right now are one third of the cost to build. So it makes no sense. Uh, so when people are still moving there every year, but there's no construction, eventually that inventory is going to be swept up and you are going to have prices shooting through the roof. So what defines an emerging market? The strong demographic growth, uh, the population growth and job growth, of course, a strong and div diverse economy. So it's not a economy that depends on one employer. And if that employer leaves, the place is in shambles. An example of that is Detroit, Michigan, 45% of manufacturing jobs were gone. And it just, yeah, it just shattered their economy. Um, the next is a growing retirement population. So a lot of retirees want to move to Arizona and Florida. So they're guaranteed to have an emerging market, even though there might not be the job growth. But as the retirees move down there, um, there's going to be people that take care of them. There's going to be people that take care of their, you know, they, they want to do less maintenance. So there'll be more people hired to do maintenance and uh, things like that. So they will have job growth, but just not... It's not driven by big companies moving to the state. Um, growing retirement population, the undervalued markets. So an emerging market, 500,000 people, <clears throat> and you want to make sure that the properties are undervalued. We're buying properties cheaper than the cost to build right now. So we can cash flow from day one. We don't have to uh, put money out of pocket just to pay the bills. A strong potential for appreciation we talked about that and tightening vacancy trends so a way to discover an emerging market is to go to property managers and ask them what was the vacancy rate three years ago in comparison to now or five years ago into comparison to now and if you see that trend going down that's another indicator of an emerging market so how do you find emerging markets the best way to find emerging markets is to go on Google and you're going to look up the Metro Population Growth USA and you're just going to use uh, Wikipedia here look even the US News posted something but uh, I just use Wikipedia it's very simple and then you can go further into the data later on so let's just look at this um, news article right quick So the 10 metro areas with the largest population growth. Raleigh, Durham. Uh, they grew by 40%. Las Vegas grew by 36%. Austin. Oil. Phoenix. They got the retirees. Charlotte is the number two biggest banking city. In the United States after New York, Atlanta, Georgia, that's where we invest in. They grew 27%. Riverside, California, 
they actually had the largest drop in prices so people probably went to go find the prices uh, Orlando retirees and Orlando you know magical kingdom or whatever Disney Dallas Fort Worth of course the oil and Houston more oil so there you go that's an explanation so yeah once we go to this chart it's going to show you the population change so let's just rank the uh, cities by the population changes the villages Florida never heard of it look at this eight percent population growth that's great or the estimate anyways Midland Texas uh, rally as we listed Savannah Georgia we're actually going to be moving into that market soon um, it's two hours out from Atlanta so Atlanta Georgia three percent um, so there you go it had 5.2 million they're projecting 5.4 a three percent population growth so now that you know the city so there was a hundred cities I believe that have over 500,000 as defined in the criteria so an emerging market has minimum 500,000 people and a 2% population growth and if you go down this list 104 cities or metro, uh, metro statistical areas you can pick from for an emerging market now inside of an emerging market you want to find an emerging neighborhood the best way to find an emerging neighborhood is the Trulia heat map. The Trulia heat map is basically a picture. It gives you a picture of what the housing prices are in any market. So boom, it just shows you what's going on, where the hot areas are. So uh, Georgia, we hit Georgia. Average price, 276,132,000 properties on the market right now. So I only want to flip, uh, you know, 10 houses a month. So I have 132,000 properties to pick from. And by the way, 10 houses a month at $30,000 um, profit per house, that's $300,000 a month. Not too bad. So Cobb County, I really like Cobb County, but uh, if you didn't know the counties, just call ask the realtors where everyone where's everyone moving where's the best schools um, you know what counties have the best sports teams America's driven on sports right people want their kids to go to the NBA they got to go to the best school where all the scouts are going to be going that's where the money is so yeah I would just find you know pick ask for three to five counties and then just go there so I go into Cobb County Cobb County heat map Oh yeah, and don't take the realtor's word for, you know, 100% gospel because they're also trying to make a big commission check. So the larger the home or the more expensive the home they sell you, the more commission they make, yada, yada, yada. But they do know their stuff. This is what they do. Uh, so right here, bam, you have all the red areas. You're probably going to want to avoid those. And you want to focus in the yellow areas and the orange and find the, what? The path of progress. So... A, B, C, D properties. We want to focus on the B and C neighborhoods. The A neighborhoods are just too expensive and they don't cash flow. Um, you can still flip in high end neighborhoods, but you want to go where the bread and butter, where the most of the population is buying and renting, which is in the B. A lot of single family homes in the suburbs and the C. A lot of single family homes and apartments. Avoid the D. D neighborhoods are places like for example, in Chicago, which is a great city, 9 million people, they have 500 murders a year. Would you want to be the in the worst neighborhood of the murder capital? No. You want to be in the A, B. Right. Uh, even the C. C is decent still. So, yeah, these are the four um, neighborhoods. So, you can just describe to your realtors what kind of neighborhoods you want to be in. And then, uh, you're just going to pick these zips. I would just pick all of these zips in the yellow and I would just start um, getting listings in these zips so three zero one two six Mableton Georgia so if I wanted to 
just take a quick look at what's going on in Mableton, Georgia. Mableton, Georgia homes for sale. I'd even go on Zillow. Yeah, they got million dollar homes. So you want to sort by lowest, or you want to make a price max to 80,000. See what the inventory is like. There you go, homes for 79,000. And you know, because you look at the heat map, that it's an emerging market, but you need to find the emerging neighborhoods within the emerging markets. Bam, look at this property right here. $60,000 as long as there's good schools, good maintenance, you know, pending offer approval, but you can call a realtor and say, this is exactly what I'm looking like. How do you, how can you send me properties like this? How can we get offers on properties like this instantly before everyone else gets their hands on them? So there we go. We just found um, a property. So I would take that property, put it in Zillow. Uh, like I taught in my lesson in the acquisitions, put that property in Zillow three people are going to come up on the right hand side of the screen you check them all off you put your information in you hit that you refresh the page check three more people off hit send do it again you send out 12 realtors they start blowing your phone up so we found the emerging market we found the emerging neighborhood um, that's basically it so yeah there you have it how to find an emerging market how to decipher between A, B, C, D class properties, how to find the path of progress using the heat map and finding out where the next areas are most likely to go hot um, because you can't go with the high prices forever. People have to move where there's affordable prices. So yep, yeah. you've now found where the best areas are. Uh, then you've looked for some houses that you can send to realtors and get them to send you similar homes in those emerging neighborhoods with the great schools and the great sports and everything like that. So there you go. That is how to.